54 soldiers from one of only two active duty mortuary affairs companies in the United States Army returned home to the fanfare of fellow soldiers, family, and friends at Fort Lee, Virginia, March 7, 2012, after a six-month deployment to the Middle East. We talked to Captain Christopher Franklin, the forward commander of the 54th Quartermaster Company, 2nd Detachment, about the challenges of being based out of Kuwait, supporting not only Operation Enduring Freedom in Afghanistan, but the final months of Operation New Dawn in Iraq. And being in charge of soldiers that are, you know, in other countries, that's the most difficult part of the job, you know, run the split operations, but, you know, we can't make mistakes because it's a very important job. You know, these soldiers gave their lives and we owe it to their families to get them back in a timely manner. After being welcomed home officially, Captain Franklin dismissed his troops to receive the homecoming welcome that matters most. The worst part is uh, being away from my wife and my kids because uh, this is my third deployment and like for him, uh, I did the math and uh, I only saw him like, like two years overall and for my baby that he's not here, I only seen him for 10 months total and he's 18 months. I, yeah, I saw her. I saw them as soon as I marched in, as soon as uh, we faced uh, the crowd, I, I saw them. It was, it was pretty amazing. Well, how does it feel to have him back now? Good. <laughs> good, good. Many other families were thrilled at seeing their soldiers again. Captain Franklin was greeted by several loved ones, including his mother, Vicki. My son's coming back. It's all that matters. You know, trying to get down here, you know, trying not to kill anybody to get down here. <laughs> you know, because nothing stands between a mother and her children. This is Stephen Baker reporting for U.S. Army Garrison, Fort Lee, Virginia.